Hello friends, so you are uh, you all are welcome in uh, this specific video tutorial on iterative deepening depth first search. Uh, if you talk about uh, our earlier lectures, we have already discussed about uh, breadth first search and depth first search, two very common ways to traverse a graph. Suppose we are considering a tree or a graph which is having huge height and width. In that case, both breadth first search and depth first search are not very efficient. And the reason behind that is, if we are talking about depth first search, suppose this is the tree uh, structure in which we want to find out a node that is just below the root at the right hand side. But in case of depth first search, we all know that when DFS traverses, it traverses the node going through one adjacent of root and then the next adjacent. That means in this case, from root, it will go to one, then it will go to three, then it will go to the adjacent node of this one, and it will keep continuing. If this specific tree is very huge, in that case, even uh, our target is very near to root, we are not able to find it out in a specific time period. Okay, so this is one problem of depth first search that it takes a lot of time. And if we talk about breadth first search, breadth first search goes level by level, but it requires more space. Okay, we will find it in case of uh, our specific target, like we are talking about two in this case, it will find it in the very second iteration. But uh, specifically, if you talk about space, so time is very less in this case, but uh, in comparison to depth first search, its space requirement is very high. Okay, so uh, what we have seen that in case of depth first search, time taking is very high. In case of breadth first search, space is very high. Okay, so if we take the depth for search space efficiency, because depth for search space efficiency is very good, and breadth for search time efficiency is very good. If we combine both of them, then the specific algo or specific search strategy that comes is called iterative depth for search. So IDDFS will combine the space efficiency of DFS and uh, time efficiency of BFS, right? So it will have both the combination with that one. How IDDFS works? As the name suggests, iterative deepening depth first search. So it will basically follow something like different levels. It will uh, follow um, like uh, we do with uh, the depth first search concepts with different limits. Okay, it will first take limit equals to zero. Okay, in that case, only root will be followed and it will be checked that root is the target, root is our goal or not. If not, then it will increase the limit. In that case, limit will be one. And when limit will be one, it will follow two specific levels, level zero and level one. In that case, it will first follow the root, then it will go to the left side, then it will go to the right side. Okay, in that case, uh, in our earlier example, if we have to found this, then we can very easily found this. Even if it is not there, then what it will do? It will increase the limit. Now the limit will be two. In that case, again, it will first go to root, then as per the depth first search, go to B, then it will go to this, then it will go to this, then here, then here, and then here. Right. In that case, it is following depth first search up to level two. It will check if there is any goal or not. If not, then again, it will increase the level. Now level will be three. And again, it will follow depth first search up to limit three. Okay. Same, it will keep continuing till we are not getting the goal. So what we are doing in that case, just see this one. We have the found one, then we are following like this. If we have that mount two, we are following like this. Means it is the combination of depth for search and breadth for search. So we are getting both the things here. We are getting the efficiency, the time efficiency, as well as the space efficiency. That's why IDDFS is, I think, uh, most more preferable over depth first search and depth first search. Okay. Now, if you talk about the properties of IDDFS, in that case, it is complete. Okay. And uh, about time complexity, it's big O, B to the power D. Space complexity is linear, big O, B, D. And it is optimal if step cost is one. Okay. In that case, it will be optimal for us. Uh, Right. So if we generally take a quick comparison table between depth first search, depth first search and IDDFS. So in case of time complexity, we say DFS is having big O B to the power D, BFS is having big O B to the power D and IDDFS is having same. So all are having same kind of 
uh, time complexity with them. In case of space complexity, DFS is linear. DFS is exponential, as we already talked, that it take more space. And ID DFS is having the combination of that one BD. Okay. So when we are going to use DFS, if you don't care if the answer is closest to the starting vertex root, or when the graph or tree is not very big, in that case, we will use depth first search. We will use depth first search when the space is not an issue. Okay. And when we do care, or when we want the closest answer to the root, in that case, we will use depth first search. And iterative deepening depth first search when we want a BFS and you don't want don't have enough memory for that and somewhat slower performance is accepted. Okay, in that case, you want uh, IDDFS. Basically, sometimes whenever you want to combination, you want the benefits of both DFS and BFS. In that case, you will choose iterative deepening depth first search. So guys, this was all about IDDFS. I hope you like this specific video. If yes, please comment that and please share this video further in our next upcoming video we will discuss uniform cost search till then please like and subscribe thank you very much